Hey, what's up, guys? Franco here, nextlevelballplayer.com, hanging out with Shelby Thomas, uh, baseball coach of the Northside Falcons. Um, want to talk today about curveball. Uh, Shelby had the opportunity to work with Josh Beckett growing up um, and, and was one of Josh's uh, Little League coaches and, and Youth League coaches. Really helped him develop his curveball. I got to talk with Shelby a little bit earlier today and just really want to share this with you because I really like what he said and how he breaks it down. So Shelby, would you mind um, just kind of breaking down how you teach the curveball and what that looks like and how kids can emulate that in a safe way so they're not putting extra strain right. on their arms? All right, well, the first thing is what, what I like to go about is teaching the kid about their wrist, okay? When we get into a curveball, we, we see a lot of people wanting to turn their wrist, come over, whatever it is. What I like to teach and what, what, <clears throat> what's something that, that could help you keep your arms safe is to lock that wrist, lock that joint in here so, you, so your wrist isn't getting floppy. We're not getting over, around it, I'm trying to use that. When we start doing that, we get into the elbow, okay? We lock that wrist down. So uh, the next thing is, is make sure when we, when we come over the top, come over the ball. Um, so with that wrist lock, we're gonna throw our, 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 our front of arm here. We're not gonna throw the, the, this part of our arm, but we're gonna throw this part of our arm right here with our wrist locked. So when we come through, okay, we're in this position here, okay? We don't come through here trying to turn. So as we come through, we get on top, lock our wrist, we throw this part of our arm, towards the hitter and make sure when we release, release our fingers out in front and the ball is come over, comes over the top of our fingers. And what are you saying about some, you know, some pitchers have bigger hands than yeah, others. Yeah. Where, where is that ball coming off the fingers? Yeah, well, you know, with, with somebody with the smaller, smaller fingers, yeah, the ball is going to come more off the fingertips uh, and with the bigger hands. So with that, I teach, go ahead and bring that finger off, the fourth front finger, the top okay. finger off so we can work off of this. Because a lot of times what happens is if they get shorter fingers, that this, this finger actually gets in the way of the ball coming off correctly. Interesting. Okay? Yeah. So, but if you have long enough fingers, we're going to actually come off this finger right on the tip. Okay? If you got shorter fingers, it's going to come off this finger right off the tip. And that way, you get that over the over top rotation. We don't get the side spin yeah. or, the, or the dot, which is more of a slider. Right. Yeah. And will you, will you show the camera kind of the actual grip, where you're gripping that, where you're starting? Yeah. Um, well, I have fairly long fingers, um, but I like to grab the horseshoe. I like to grab on top of here with my middle finger. Whichever one is the stronger finger, most is going to be the middle finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to grab the seam with the horseshoe. Okay. And then, then this one comes up over here and I grab that for control. Grab that, finger, that, uh, that seam for control. So whenever we're coming over the top, we know where it is. You know, some days, if, if it's working really good, I leave it on top. If it's not, I push it here. Helps me get a little bit more uh, control of, of, of the ball. Yeah, but the big thing is keeping that. Yeah. So that's not putting extra stress right. on the shoulders. Right, and you want to keep this here. Once, once you start doing, doing this, we're putting sh elbow and shoulder, and we want to stay away from that. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time, right. man. You're welcome. Appreciate it. It's time for...